Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we are going to discuss another topic of addition of fractions. So today we will discuss that how to add fractions by using LCM. So today we are going to add fractions by LCM method. So we have uh, two question here. First is 2 over 4 plus 3 over 8. This is first type of question and second type is 5 by 7 plus 3 by 5. So let's start solution of uh, first type of question. What is that? So in this type of question, we have uh, denominators uh, which have common factors. So here uh, we can see that 4 and 8 have some common factors. So this is first type. So how to add them by LCM? Uh, simply you have to find uh, LCM least common denominator or least common multiple of uh, denominators. So here we have 4 and 8 as denominators. So we have to find LCM of these two numbers. So simply you have to find LCM. So LCM of 4 and 8 is 8. So simply you have to write 8 uh, as LCM in the denominator of our uh, resultant fraction. So we have to write a fraction and we have LCM 8. So you have to write 8 here. So first of all you have to divide this LCM and this number by uh, denominator of first fraction. You have to get the answer. After getting the answer, uh, we divide 8 by 4, we get 2. So after getting the answer, you will multiply the 2 with the uh, numerator of first fraction. So we have uh, 8 divided by 4, we get 2. So we will multiply this 2 with this uh, numerator to multiply by 2. Then you have to write uh, sign of positive or negative. So here is positive and you will write positive. Here we can uh, put some brackets. So we can write uh, brackets uh, to clear that we have solved first part of fraction. Now similarly you have to divide this 8 by uh, denominator of second fraction. We will get 1. So you have to multiply this 1 with the numerator of second fraction. 1 multiply by 3. You can multiply directly but I am writing here so that you can get the clear idea of method of addition of fraction by LCM method. So now simply you have to solve them 2 times 2 is 4 and plus then 3 times 1 is 3 and our answer is 4 plus 3 it will become 7 by 8. So after adding you have to check that if there are any common factors between these two numbers and then you have to divide by that common factors but we have no common factor between 8 and 7 so 7 by 8 is our simplified answer. I hope so you getting the idea that how to add fraction by using LCM method. So now we have another example that is 5 over 7 plus 3 over 5. So again you have to check the denominators of both fractions. We have 7 and 5. So here you can see that 5 and 7 have no common factors. So whenever the numbers in the denominator as like here 5 and 7 if they have no common factors then there is no need to find LCM. Simply you have to multiply these number 5 and 7. So you will get LCM 35. 7 times 5 is 35. You don't need to find LCM because these numbers have no common factor. That's why we have to multiply simply. 5 sevens are 35. Then you have to divide this 35 with same method by 7. You will get 5. So you will multiply answer of this division 35 by 7. We get 5 with that 5 numerator of first fraction. So we have to multiply 5 and 5. So our first uh, part of fraction has been solved. Now we move to uh, second after uh, plus sign. So you have to divide this 35 by denominator of second fraction. That is 5. So 35 by 5 we will get 7. So you have to multiply 7 uh, with the numerator of uh, second fraction. That is 3. So 7 multiply by 3. So method is very simple. After finding LCM, you have to divide this LCM by denominator of first fraction and then by denominator of second fraction. And then you have to multiply answer of this denominator with the numerator of first fraction. And then you have to multiply answer of division of second uh, fraction. You have to multiply with uh, numerator of uh, second fraction. As we have 5 multiply 5. So it will become 25. And uh, 7 threes are 21. So you have to write simply 7 threes are 21. Now you have to add this and you have to write the answer. Uh, what is answer? 25 plus 21 that will become 46. And uh, below the bar we have 35 as LCM denominator. 
so here you can check that again we have no common factor between these two numbers so uh, this is our simplified answer 46 by 35 I think so you got the idea that how to add fractions by using LCM method this method is very common and very important to learn that how to find LCM this same method is used in algebra so, so you have to learn it carefully and you have to practice it thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel